CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Listen, I'm impressed. You're going to want to hear this. I think, uh, you know, and I, I was a naysayer, and I got to tell you, we got some new stuff from Tessman. Update from the TM510. If you're not a fan of Tessman, by the end of this video, you should be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna talk about budget-friendly multimeters and the best thing I found on the market. And hands down, you you just don't know if you don't know. I These things are spammed all over YouTube, okay? And I'll be completely uh, honest with you, I probably won't get as many uh, views on this because there's so many people that put this out. And I just don't think they have the passion and, and the interest in it like I do. I told this company to go pound sand so many times relentlessly because this this meter was $12.99. It was so cheap, honestly, that I thought there's no way this thing could be drunk or this thing could be good. And let me tell you, as the biggest hater of this tool, I am now the biggest fan of this company on the market hands down now this is a chinese made meter but find one that isn't let me know uh you know <laughs> flukes made here but they're still getting components from overseas so let's just take the keyboard warriors to the bank right there off that deal and get rid of that conversation however auto ranging auto ranging the tm510 was their old meter and i thought this thing was just fantastic auto ranging meaning you have to you don't have to do anything non-contact voltage we can do, see if we can, look at that, non-contact voltage on a USB, okay, we're giving non-contact voltage on that, and we have the same function on this one for non-contact function, you switch this one, now you got to switch this one, okay, non-contact voltage, you have an LED light there, pretty cool, but uh, you have your functions, you can switch with it now, which I think a lot of people requested, plus you can get live data on it, but... They changed the plugins to the bottom on the new Tessman TSM 52, 52.2S. And they also updated the leads on these things to a little bit better leads, in my opinion. These were the old leads, and I complained about that. I said, this is the only thing, but you're talking about a $12.99 deal. These things were junk. Uh, I've had bad readings with these leads. Tried them on other meters just to verify, but after a couple uses, you can see it's jamming them back in the case junk so i just use my fluke leads for the most part but they will work to give you a voltage uh you know as far as giving accuracy on ohms and stuff like that you're gonna have a little bit of problems but uh once again they updated the leads which are a little bit better once again not fluke leads but nonetheless not too shabby uh let's let's test it out for you guys that's what you really want to see still nice that you can put them in i i don't know about i'm not sure i like this yet if they would have put straight cords on the end of this would have been a little bit nicer, but uh, let's see here. We got the cut rubber ends we can pull off. Let's see if we can ohm out, get some resistance on some uh, some wires here. Let's see here. Let's find a let's find a dirty, quick and dirty plug that we can do some resistance on. Resistance. All right. Let's uh, let's check some wires here. We'll do some resistance and uh, give you. We're gonna just take a wire here. And we're gonna check a wire down here. Come on now. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a clear wire. And we got no resistance and it's accurate reading. Of course, when I move the wire, it's gonna change, but a little bit of fluctuation, but not bad. Perfect. Like it, that's awesome. Gangster move right there. Digging that, let's check some voltage. All right, so we're just gonna check some voltage on the battery here. We got a 20 volt DeWalt. We didn't have to mess with the meter at all. We didn't change from resistance to voltage. And voila. Stay here, you little son of a gun. Uh, quick and dirty. 20 volts, DC. If I can stay on it. Bingo. Bingo bongo. Hopefully you guys can see that. Not too much glare. There we go. And then we can go right back to checking resistance on a wire. 
without having to mess with the tool. This is like the best tool for a beginner to use. Well, kind of the best, not the greatest, because I guess it doesn't teach you how to change modes. But then we can go right back to resistance on the deal. If I can get this all done, testing wiring and stuff like that on the deal. Not always the easiest on camera. Boom, zero resistance. We got our beep. Wires tested. Love it. This is what makes this tool awesome. Now, we're just doing basic tests with this, but that's what does this what this does, tool does awesome, honestly. Is and it also has a light on the back, which is pretty cool. Not the brightest light on the back, but it has a light there, which is handy. If you want to throw this in your car or if you just want to use this without blowing, I'll tell you for my Snap-on $700 uh, meter that has $30 worth of fuel, fuses and this thing is $25. Bucks. If I got something that I'm a little bit concerned about testing, I'm going to bust this thing out. I can buy these things at $25 bucks or $12. Well, these are $15 now. They even jumped up in price. Wow, they went crazy. But you can buy the, something like those for $15.99. I'll leave the link in the description for all this stuff because these are a must-have tool in my opinion just for quick and dirty work. These things are awesome. Fantastic. I like the fact that I can go from one thing to the next without having to fiddle fart around on the tool and I can get the work done faster. And it's crazy how cheap these are. But let's show you the last thing because we got a lot to talk about these too. All right. We're going to talk about strippers. No. Get your filthy minds out of the gutters. Not those strippers. We're going to talk about wire strippers. Tessman has released these and let's just go over a couple of things real fast because I'm not, my ADHD can't allow me just to show you those strippers. I have to talk about my favorite pair of strippers. Not the ones down where they, you know, you, listen, wire strippers. Uh, these are tool aid ones. They were Matco's. I bought them off, the, actually funny story is, I bought them off the Matco truck and the Matco, got, and they said tool aid on them. He goes, yeah, I repoed them. And he goes, those are the exact same ones as I have. Let me warranty them out. Just peel the sticker off. So that's what he did. He peeled the sticker off, boom, we warrantied them because they were all messed up. These have been my go-to for a long time. I love these because uh, for a reason just like that. I can go into it, you know, I can go into a wire straight on. Boom, I like them. Probably one of my favorites. When it comes to the other ones, Klein, I sorry my tools aren't all clean. If you guys want to see me lay out clean tools and then tell you about how they work and stuff like that, that's, you know, let me know because it seems to be a popular thing anymore. Uh, you know, uh, my favorite, another favorite pliers or strippers are some of these Kleins, man. These things are super sharp. Uh, you get the right wire in there. These are a little bit bigger ones. These are for a little bit bigger wire than, yeah, these aren't the ones I want to use for those. Uh, those are a little bit bigger wire. The Snip Knipex are some of my other favorite you know those things strip clean and uh some of the ones that work the best probably my two favorite ones to use are the knipex the tool aids now this style of wire stripper uh i've showed you that you know whether you like that that was a bad demonstration but it doesn't matter the point is we're going to get to this these are my favorite these are my go-to 100 percent my go-to not expensive plot not expensive strippers never been a big fan of spending a ton of money uh when it comes to crimping there's also parallel crimping there's different styles of crimping and there's a lot of different bad methods being taught about that but anyways these things came out back when G when christ was a cowboy okay and uh, i apologize for my it, it just is what it is you guys gotta bear with me here sometimes uh these things came out and i've absolutely hated these i don't know where i bought these don't know what they are they're garbage this is when this style first came out gotta tell you never been impressed with them never liked them uh, and kind of just danced away from this style. And there's probably a lot of guys that are like, they're, you know, the keyboard warriors are getting in here right now. Boy, those are the best ones in the world. Okay, calm down. Everybody has a preference. Listen, dog, I, I'm, I'm, I don't care what you use. So what I prefer, whatever you prefer is awesome. But maybe you do like those styles. And I'll tell you what, these gems right here changed my mind. First of all, they have a very thick insulated grip handle, which was impressive. I think if you had to do... Uh, something where you're a little bit of HVAC guy or whatnot, you know, electrical guy, you could probably get away with it. They have this nice adjustable deal right here, which I like because this one didn't have anything. That was another thing that I didn't really like. You can adjust these ones too. On the, well, actually, you know what? Mine are broke again. This used to have an adjuster on it, and it is broke off. I see. Oh, there's pieces of remnants. 
these they maybe the new ones do they have a thing that sets in there but i could also has a scale right there that's part of the reason why i like them because when you're looking down from the side you can see it where you could adjust at well anyways i know we went right off on the went right off on a whole thing there but anyways let's look at uh so i can set these in there and they hit that thing and uh boom shock locker bob's your uncle and uh, we can adjust the tension on them, which are pretty, they're pretty much adjusted right now. This little knob right here on this, adjust the tension on them. And we can go ding, ding, ding. You know, we can strip, strip, strip. We can cut, cut, cut. Uh, pretty quick on cutting. Uh, not too shabby, you know. We're going to in there, then we go right back to strip. Strip, changing the depths. We got a nice short crimp on it. Well, what did you do there, fella? So we got a nice short crimp there. Now we can adjust the depth out a little bit farther. Hey, we want a deeper one. Get a little more rubber off that thing. You can see there it's grabbing. We got the depth on it. Pop goes the weasel because the weasel go pop. Look at that. That's slicker than frog's hair. I don't care what uh, what you say. I'm not trying to be a salesman in this. But I didn't even show you the best part. We do have some crimpers down here. Once again, I always say I have subjectiveness on my crimping. But uh, uh, these things have a little fancy deal on the back. Oh, what's that, CP? What's that little green light for? Non-contact voltage. They put a non-contact voltage. How genius is that? Pretty fancy. Now, not a huge thing for an automotive guy, but I got to tell you, HVAC, any type of deal that I'm on with that? Dude, for real? Anyways, guys, uh, that's the video on the Testman stuff. Whether you like it or love it, I don't care. Uh, and I really don't care if I get a lot of views on it. Hopefully I help like five guys out that find out that this is a great product because you're going to be the five luckiest guys and be the happiest guys in your shop using some tools like this. And you saved yourself some money. And these things are bomb dibbity com. Wait a second. I about said diddy. Bomb.com. You know, don't be saying that guy's name around here, you know, because the baby will come up and be a bad deal. Anyways, guys, remember like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.